beach fishing with king worms. Yoo-hoo! Hi, my name's Roger Osborne, and in today's video, I'm fishing at one of my favorite beaches. I've got some beautiful beach worms that I caught, a couple of really big beach worms that I'm gonna actually put out as a mulloway bait. And I've also got two live mullet with me. I've been having a look at the conditions, but I'm gonna explain that to you in just a minute. Make sure that you hit that notification bell and like and subscribe. It's totally free, really helps my channel. I appreciate it very much. So I'm gonna get into it. So I've come down to the beach. I was intending to fish at the northern end of the beach, right hard up against the rocks. It's where I did my last video about a week ago. That's one of my strategies. I like fishing at the end of a beach because there's a lot to attract fish there and you still catch fish which live on the sand bottom like whiting in that corridor really close to the rocks. But there's other fish like luteric and yellowtail and different things which attract bigger fish like mulloway. You get a whole range of species. But I've come down here and it's really quite flat. It's dropped down a fair bit. And where I was thinking of going, it's a bit like a lake. There's really virtually no waves breaking over there and if I was to toss my line out it would just be in kind of dead water with no, no movement, no features. So I've decided to walk down the beach a little bit instead and I have a sandbar in front of me so I've actually got waves breaking, stirring things up, creating some white water and some cover for small fish. And there is a, a channel, actually there's a sandbar here, there's a little bit of a deep bit along the edge. There's also another you know, gutter, gutter heading out to sea on the other side of this sandbar. But it looks pretty good here. At least I've got a nice little bit of white water. And what I'm going to do actually is, I have live mullet and worms, but I've got a couple of really big beach worms that I'm gonna put on some slightly larger hooks on my heavier line. I'm gonna do a double hook rig, and I'm gonna pelt it out the back, hoping that there might be something big lurking around. The only um, challenge with that is if you actually hooked two really big fish on a double hook rig, I'm not quite sure what would happen with that. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Uh, when you hook, I mean, I've caught two salmon at once, but I'm gonna show you um, what I mean by these king, these king worms, like how, how thick this worm is. Look at this guy. He's still, he's still writhing around. But these are really big, thick worms. Look at that guy. So I'm actually, I've got some larger long shank hooks, which I'm gonna put that on and toss it out the back. And then I've got my light beach rod as well. And I'm going to, oh, ah, oh, he's biting me. Would you look at that? That worm's biting my finger. No way, he's biting me. Oh, look at his fangs. Can you believe that worm just bit my finger? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you bite me after I caught you? <laughs> he's gonna get used for bait in a minute. I was just looking, I've got another really fat one here. This guy, it's just the end part of him, he's pretty fat, although he's not the biggest one. I've got other ones as well. They are so lively, these guys. Look at him. Okay, so I've got um, a couple of large worm baits on my heavier beach rod. This rod's 12 foot long and it's spilled with 15 kilo line. It's my rod that I use for fishing for Mulloway. But I've got a, a slightly heavier star sinker on it. I'm gonna actually pelt it out the back of the sandbar. I'll be able to cast a long way out because you can cast a long way with worms. So I'm gonna put this one out the back and then I've got my light beach rod, which has also got worms on it, and I'm gonna hold that one and have this one as a set line, actually. So I better put this sand spike in before I cast it. Okay, all righty. Hopefully uh, the salmon leave this alone for a little while. Actually, there's a fair bit of depth of water here. It looks pretty good in close and out the back. The swell certainly has dropped off. 
I think that the, uh, the waves are probably only about half a metre. So I'm going to put this one right out the back. Yep, out there. Then I'm going to fish in close with my other rod. Okie dokie, I'm just going to set the drag. I don't want it too light. It feels alright. Gonna keep my eye on that one, and um, woohoo! I'm excited. <laughs> we'll see what fish we can take home for dinner. It's actually only quarter to six. Second day after daylight savings has ended, so it's getting dark earlier now. And we've got high tide. High tide at seven o'clock. Just have a look. I'm just going to toss on the right hand side, I think, just into this little bit of white water over here. Well, really, just in that little gutter on the edge. We'll see how long it takes to get a bite. So we have. Um, We've got a high tide really only about 30 minutes after dark, which is pretty good. There's a little bit of weed out there, but not too much. So you'd really expect to catch a few fish in these conditions. There is a little bit of sideways drift coming from the south and heading out that way, although the current is not that strong, which is good. I quite like the look of the water out beyond this sandbar. It, in between this sandbar and the one right out the back. I think it'd be good if I could get a cast out there. Something's going on with this rod. I was getting a bite then. Hang on, it's coming in towards me. Yeah, I think there's a fish on there. The line went slack. Yeah, my, my, my line went slack. So the fish was swimming in with it. It's interesting. It, um, it doesn't feel that big. And it hasn't jumped out of the water like a salmon. What's it doing? Oh, it's a stingray. Look at that. I guess these are one of the things you put up with <laughs> when you're beach fishing. You just have to flip him over and uh, get the hook out. He hasn't swallowed it, so that's good. See the hook is um, just there. They're quite tough, these things. There you go. Put him back in. I could throw him like a frisbee, but maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> There, Mr. Stingray, I'll be very gentle. <laughs> All right. Got to put a little bit more beachworm on there and chuck it back out again. So, he was not very welcome. I didn't want him. <laughs> I just put a little bit more worm on. I've still got a bit of worm on the hook, so I'm just going to put a little bit extra on and belt it back out again. Gonna go over this side. Really all beach fishing is prospecting. 
trying to locate where the fish are. It would be good if I had my mate Loza here. <laughs> we'll have to go on a couple more fishing adventures. I hope it's not Mr. Stingray again. Feels like it could be a stingray. Wonder how, how many of them are out there. Searching around for food. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Hang on. Oh no. It's a small salmon. Nice size to eat, really. And he swallowed the hook. You can see um, no sign of the hook. Actually, look, there you can go. You can see the worm in his mouth. But I'm going to keep this guy because we've been enjoying eating our salmon. And, um, and uh, the Thai fish cakes have been, have been great. Man, that's down a long way, that hook. I've got my fingers down his throat. But I can feel it coming. <laughs> there it is. So I will rebait. Now I'm just going to put this kingworm on. It's a really good time of the night. Actually, um, and I'm going to feed him on the head first. Put it in his mouth. And he's, uh, I need a bit of, I'm going to grab a bit of sand. I need some sand to hold him with. Gonna, this is actually quite a large long shank hook that I have. It's a good time of night to put out a big worm bait, so I'm actually going to um, thread him up the line a bit so it's a really big worm bait. So I'm not really likely to catch a whiting on this. I would catch a big brim. So I'm actually going to, um, yeah, put that much on there. You see, I've, thread the, I've threaded that worm up the, up the line. The end of the hook's about, the, about, about there. So that's a pretty, pretty hefty worm bait. So I'm going to put it out there, and hopefully there's a lovely dewy out there waiting for a big, delicious worm. Hello, I'm getting a bite on this rod. I just saw it going. Am I still getting bites or not? That's just the wave at the moment. Actually, my line's gone slack. I've probably got a fish on there. Yeah, because the line's definitely gone slack. Something's going on. Alrighty. I'm not going to cast as far out this time, a little bit closer in. That's about where I wanted to land. I think there's a fish on that rod. I'd love to see that really double over. Is there a fish on here, yes or no? Yeah. Something's on here. Definitely.
Just keeping my eye on that other line because I didn't cast it out that far and I don't want this fish to go around it. Oh, it's another stingray. It just feels heavier because it's on this little rod. Hang on, what's going on here? Oh, look at that. Two undesirables. <laughs> An undersized flathead and a stingray. Oh well. We're going to need to deal with them. This is a sand flathead. You can tell by... Whoops, they normally have blue flecks on them. I can't see any blue flecks on him. Just want to be careful so I don't get jabbed by him. So I'm going to try pushing down hard on his head so he can't go side to side. Got the hook out, so that's good. And then I can gently fling him into the water. That's gentle. <laughs> I'll put a bit of... Wait for the next wave. Come on, Mr. Wave. This guy's hooked exactly the same as the last one. Just in the side of the mouth. So I'm able to get that out pretty easily. Say goodbye. Oh well. I didn't lose any hooks or anything then. I can just rebate and cast back out again. The question is, where do I cast? I'm always thinking about that. Got another bit more of a bite. What happened then? Had a couple of good bites then, but I missed it. Hang on. Got him this time. Oh, jumped out of the water. <laughs> that shower heading this way. Slightly bigger salmon than the last one. He swallowed the hook as well. I think I'll need to perform an operation to get this one out. So I'll go and bleed him and get ready. I think I've got a fish on this rod. Got something, yeah. What could it be? Another stingray? Yeah, another stingray. Man, these are in plague proportions. Starting to rain now. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Well, we're hooked up again. We've just caught the edge of a rainstorm. So I'm getting a little bit wet. It's really dark clouds around here at the moment. This is on those uh, larger pieces of king worm. Okay. So we know as usual there's plenty of these out there.
thankfully this guy hasn't swallowed the hook. You can see it, um, see that worm in the side of his mouth. And you can see where the hook is there in the side of his mouth. Actually, it's on the outside of his mouth. You can see it just there. A lovely big worm head there. So I'm going to hold on to him tight because if he, he hassles me, I don't want to get a hook in my finger. Oh. Which I didn't. So I'm going to get my line back out again quickly. It's just coming towards me. Woo, what's... Man, this thing just coming towards me at a rate of knots. I'm not even sure if I've got it. That was um, crazy. Whatever fish that was, was swimming at me really quickly. And I didn't get it. Sometimes when fish bite your line, instead of running out, they run in this direction and your line just goes slack. So you know when your line goes slack, that's what's happening, you're getting a bite. I always walk backwards so that I can begin to feel the line or feel what's going on. So, looks like my top hook had a bit of a go. I've still got some bait on this, so I can chuck it back out again. It's interesting how I didn't actually hook up that fish. I mean, it obviously had a hold of my line for a while. I'll toss it back out in the same spot. Hello, I'm getting a bite. Same thing, it's coming right at me, really quickly. That was crazy. That took my bait and just swam at me really fast again. But I can't feel anything there right now. I'm just waiting to see if it has another go. I felt it bite, go whack, whack, and then my line went immediately slack. And when I walked backwards, I could feel nothing. My line was just completely loose. It's interesting. It's just on dark, so I'm going to put this mullet out. It's on the edge of this gutter. Toss him out. See if there's something big wants to take him. Oh, that rod's got a fish. This rod's got a fish. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, it's over that way. All right. Yeah, look at that rod go. <laughs> it is bending. Okay. Yep. I'm going to walk down the beach a little bit, away from my other line. Would you believe? Um, a bigger stingray and another flathead. Look at that. Maybe that's the same one. On this line I put on a live mullet. And it's only about 
half an hour to high tide. The sun's, there's a tiny little bit of light left in the sky and the moon is um, on its way up. Something's going on. It just keeps coming back towards me. Okay, so I have something. We'll see what it is. <laughs> it's kicking like a brim. Look at that. It's a good sized brim. Come here. Stop flipping. He's flipped himself off the hook. <clears throat> That's a nice black, brim, nice yellow fin brim. Look at that, beautiful. Lovely eating fish. He felt like brim. I could feel him, his head knocking when I was pulling him in. So. At least we got a different species. <laughs> so that's good. Put that guy there like that. I just want to grab a worm. We've got a fat worm in here. I do need a bit of fat worm. Alrighty, this guy's going back out. What's going on? I can't tell if something's trying to have it has been eating the mullet, or if it's the mullet itself that's swimming around, but there's a lot of action going on. Don't really want to strike unless I feel something solid. But man, that live mullet's freaking out. Pretty sure he's still there. Yep. I'm going to pick up two rods. The whole two. <laughs> I'm getting bites on both rods. Oh, look, I'm just going to pull it in. I don't think I've got a fish. But it's just really weird. I couldn't have been that mullet. Pretty sure I don't have the mullet anymore. But I do have a whiting, a nice whiting, <laughs> and my mullet is gone. So I actually had two hooks on. That's, I had a live mullet on that hook, and I had a little bonus with a worm up the t I had a live mullet down the bottom and a little bonus with a worm bait up the top. And I've just caught this, it's a good size whiting. So that's what I could actually feel all that time because I think the mullet was gone and the whiting was on there but it was, um, was just kicking around all the time. So I better check my other rod because I think it's got another fish on it as well. I'll just take this one up. Just see if I have got something. I can't tell, I don't think so. I don't think I've got a fish. If it is, it's small. No, I haven't got anything. Oh yeah, what is this? Uh, whiting. Another whiting. Yeah, he'd be he'd, he'd be legal size. So whiting number two. It's good. 
Well, the brim and whiting have started biting, which is good. After dark, actually, both the whiting after dark and the brim. So I was getting some bites before, but there's nothing on here. I'm going to chuck my other line out and then check this bait. Yeah, I've got something. Not sure what it is. I think it's a big creature of the deep. One of those big, slow, heavy things. Feels like seaweed, actually. <laughs> No. Yeah, I think it's seaweed. If it's actually a living thing, hang on, no. No, I think it's moving. What have I got? Uh, I think it actually had some seaweed on it. I think it's, this is stingray number seven. I got something, but hopefully not stingray number eight. Feels a little bit like that. They're just a dull weight, those stingrays. I'm sure I've caught one several times. Yeah. Yeah. This time he swallowed the hook, I think. Well, I've had a great session on the beach. Certainly got a great feed of fish to take home. I ended up with three salmon, a really nice brim, two whiting, and also I caught seven stingrays. Actually, I think it was eight stingrays and two small flathead as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you really soon. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.